Good morning, America. I'm Diane Sawyer. And I'm Charles Gibson. It's good to have you with us. All right. Uh, Diane? Oh, no, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, what a new study found out about uh, twins that could help you look younger, longer. That one, Good Morning America. Thanks. Well, a landmark study is out now proving that the way you live can affect the way you age. We first told you about this study in April, and the results will be announced later today. The twins who participated in the study celebrated at a cocktail party here in New York last night. And joining us now is plastic surgeon Dr. Derek Antel, who conducted the study, and also with us two sets of the twins who participated, Janet Spira and Jane Reinhardt, and Gay Block and Gwen Sirota. And we appreciate your being with us this morning. It's great to see you all again. You. Dr. Antel, yes. you have identical twins, right, same genetic makeup, mm -hmm. and you watch the way they behave and how it affects their aging process. You're saying it absolutely does? Yes, the interesting thing about this study is it's the first study of its type where with genetically identical people we've seen changes in the way they age and they're mostly attributable to lifestyle choices such like as smoking, sun exposure, stress. All right, let's meet a couple of our, our candidates here. <laughs> Let me ask first Gay and Gwen about the two of you and Gay I know we've talked before about this. You, you've labeled yourself the bad twin. <laughs> what did you do that was so different from your sister? I had a lot of stress in my life. I did a lot of sun, did some alcohol and some drugs. And you, you're, by comparison, you're just perfect, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say so, but just not so excessive. Let's but really not way. sun, not alcohol? I really was, lived a, a lot more, less stressful life thing. Okay, I'm going to put a picture up right now and show the two of you before Dr. Antel did a little surgical work on you. And you're saying that this is the exact measure of what Gay's lifestyle. Yes. In <coughs> Gay in particular, we felt that sun exposure was the main factor. She had excessive sun exposure. And the wrinkle pattern on her skin was similar to her sister's, but there were more of them and they were deeper. All right, let me go to Janet here, and let me ask Jane first. Yes. Bad twin. No, not me. I'm very conservative. <laughs> she <laughs> perhaps. Okay. Yeah. And I want to stress again, these, yes. are, these are their words. These are the words you all use, not mine. And again, what was the difference in the, in the, the kind of lives you live? I had a more stressful life just raising chil two children alone. Mm -hmm. And I lived in the Midwest, where Jane has lived in the yes. South most of her life. All right, I'm going to put up the pictures again and show this to you. Okay. And you're saying again, we can see a life etched on a face. Yes. Now, if you look at Janet's picture, uh, she has a little bit deeper, deeper wrinkles, a little excess tissue under her chin. Her face is a little fuller. The jowl area is a little bit more prominent. And those are the things that we see with the aging process. And you're saying that, that the tendency to wrinkle and where, you, where it takes place is genetic. But mm -hmm. the degree of it is the way you live. Exactly. I think you hit the nail right on the head. The pattern is very much the same. That part's genetically programmed. But the rate at which you age is the part that you can control. So you can practice defensive aging by controlling those factors that you can. Now, again, all of you have had surgery. Yes. yes. Did you have to be talked into it? Did you want to do it? We wanted to do it. Yeah. We were yeah. supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about the two of you? Did well, you look forward to it? We had to talk each other into it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we would never quite get together. We waffled back and forth for almost six months. Brian. And what do you think of it now? <laughs> oh, we're happy. Yeah. Wonderful that we did it. And I know, Dr. Antel, you're now going to study what happens after the surgery to yes. see if, if lifestyle continues to affect the two. Well, lifestyle, we're also studying facelift techniques so that we can see over time, probably over 10 years, we'll monitor this large set of twins. All right, well, as we leave you, I want to bring in, in the back here, we have some of your other yes. twins in the study. Come rushing in, will you? Because we only have a few seconds left. But this is just a parade of identical twins here. And Come right around. Come right surgery. around in the back. All had surgery. Uh -huh. All proving the same point, you say. Yep that your mother was right <laughs> once again and we thank you all for being with us we'll be back